Well, hey folks, it's your old pal, King Waspinator, and welcome back to Total Party Skills. As you can tell just by looking at me, I am a representation of your average Barbie YouTube fan. At least according to all the people making reviews out there about this. Barbie, why hast thou forsaken me? Barbie, why? Why? Now, I'm not here to talk about the Barbie movie because I haven't seen it yet, and, uh, you know, it, I'm, it's hardly on my priority list. If guys in my age range have any reason to be annoyed with this Barbie movie, it should be along the lines of how come we can't get a Transformers movie that even has half the amount of attempt to put thought into it that this Barbie movie has had. Whether or not it paid off or was successful is subjective and based upon the individual people watching it, whether or not they feel that you know the movie did a good job of conveying its meaning. But at least they tried, and it's not like, you know... It wasn't Michael Bay's Barbie, let's say. Why couldn't this movie bit about how Barbie is a trad wife who gives Ryan Gosling a long, slow blowjob for two hours? <laughs> oh, why? Why can't we have what we want? But anyway, the point of this video is uh, I am an independent role-playing game publisher. Uh, you can find my products on Amazon.com and Drive Through RPG. And uh, in spite of appearances, perhaps, actually a couple of the games I put out are very female-centric, and I think uh, are natural fits for Barbie fans who might also be into role-playing games. So I want to talk to you a little bit about Lady Spy Detective and Amazon Time Barbarians, both of which have recently gotten some new source books put out for them. Now, Amazon Time Barbarians is about a group of Amazon warrior maidens from the year 1500 B.C., who are shot forward into the future at the time when Atlantis was destroyed to save their lives and also to help save the future. And they arrive in the year 1999 at a point where 1999 is kind of like a nexus in this massive time war. And they have to help uh, the various uh, female factions of North America fight against uh, this organized uh, armies of warlord chads and their trolls, which are all these humans that have been mutated and changed by a secretive race of lizard people who... Uh, infected mankind with a video game system called the Game R Gate console. And now everyone has the incel virus. Named so because, uh, you know, it gets in your cells. So, you know, it's the incel virus. But anyway, uh, you know, the Amazon Time Barbarians team up with a bunch of various uh, armies of women's liberation in Amazon Time Barbarians. And you can have a bunch of silly post-apocalyptic hijinks that are all based on, uh, you know, those kind of 90s, low-budget, sci-fi type of shows like you had at the time, like Xena and the Beastmaster series and stuff like that. It's supposed to be a little exploitative. It's supposed to be, you know, like, you know, poking fun at stuff. Uh, you know, like, the, one of the main villains in the first arc of the story is the Rogan Joe, who's the great warlord of Silicon Valley and all that kind of stuff. It just recently got the source book Time War 3, which doubles the size of the entire game and basically serves as a reset for after adventurers get to a point where they've taken down the Rogan Joe in the Hollow Earth, uh, the Time War erupts, where a bunch of different factions from different time periods all start colliding to battle over 1999, where time starts to warp and stretch, and so 1999 becomes this endless, timeless time period at the heart of all things. And so this it reformulates kind of a second version of the Armies of Liberation. Player characters in Amazon Time Barbarians include, well, the titular Amazon Time Barbarians themselves. There is also the Cowgirl Mounted Cavalry, uh, Power Armor Furries, who call themselves the Furry Commandos, uh, Lesbian Witches, Prison Gang Girls, all sorts of stuff. And in the Amazon Time Barbarians 2, Time War 3, even more factions are thrown in, many of them villainous, but not all. You can fight the forces of Son of Putin, and his cyborg Russian soldiers from the future. There's the time crimes of the lizard people, female simulation androids from the future, and much, much more. 90s goofy goodness with Amazon Time Barbarians 2, Time War 3. Lady Spy Detective is designed with the original intention of trying to write a role-playing game that a game master can play with, you know, their spouse, girlfriend, loved one, whoever would be interested in playing a Lady Spy Detective in the year 1955. It shares the same noir York City setting that Girls Gone Vampire also takes place in, uh, but this one focuses, you know, entirely around, well, lady spies. Uh, you, you, character creation, you know, you choose the country your character's from, 
Uh, you choose what kind of agency they're working for. I, instead of going with real world agencies, I go with more kind of like generically formatted agencies. So you can either model them on a real world spy agency or make up your own fictional one in a more James Bond kind of fashion. It's pretty simple and to the point, uh, just your you know basic little classic 1950s era feminist stories. And it recently just got the Lady Spy Detective Time Spies Handbook, which details a whole series of agencies uh, that revolve around uh, the United States government's efforts, uh, you know, to fight in the time war as described in Amazon Time Barbarians. It stands alone is both sort of a prequel and a sequel to Time War 3 because it, uh, it does uh, actually, you know, give the possibility of player characters finding a way out and stopping the time war from even happening in the first place. It details a bunch of different time periods. The basic idea is in the early 20th century, uh, you know, uh, some U.S. secret agents discovered the existence of time travelers, and so a small, tiny, uh, you know, time travel investigation department was founded. It, but for decades, it was nothing more than just like a couple of dudes in a basement office kind of a thing. Except in 1984, the Philadelphia experiments lead to, uh, uh, you know, the invention of actual working time travel. And so the 1984 version of that agency starts sending resources and agents back through its own history to increase its size throughout time from the very beginning, uh, which, you know, then kind of starts to mutate their own history so that, you know, when they get back to 1984, uh, you know, they have much more power and strength and influence in the government and manpower and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they start you know, converting some old uh, U.S. Navy aircraft carriers that were being uh, mothballed into being time ships, so you got a little bit of that final countdown nod there. And uh, there's five staging grounds now set up across the 20th and early 21st century that the agency in 1984 uses to coordinate all different time periods along their own agency's history. And uh, that's what's described in the Lady Spy Detective Time Spies Handbook. So yeah, if you're a Barbie fan, check out either of these titles. Links will be found in the description box below. You can either get them on PDF on DriveThruRPG, or you can order yourself a print copy on Amazon. And so until next time, stay waspinated. Barbie. Yes,